Hi everyone, I just thought it might be useful if I just quickly talk through what's happening with the GCC music course for the current year 11. And um, We have gone over this in class, um, but if any year 11s have forgotten any of this or weren't there, then um, hopefully it, it's um, helped you out with that. Um, also, parents, it puts you um, in the picture as to what's happening and um, if you've got any questions um, following that, you're, you're welcome to get in touch. So the first thing just to bear in mind is that um, GCC Music is assessed out of a total of 200 um, and so I'll come back to that in a minute but that's, that's just to keep that in mind as you listen to everything I'm going to say here. So first of all um, with our performances here we're now only having to record um, a solo performance which is worth 30% of the overall grade so 60 marks of the 200. Um, we're going to have a go at doing an initial recording on the 2nd of December. Uh, the students have been given this uh, date in, in class last week. Um, and there'll be a second attempt in, in February if the first attempt doesn't um, turn out how we want it. Just to remind you with the recording that it's got to be a minimum of two minutes um, and that the pieces have to come from a, a great exam syllabus or from the Edexcel difficulty booklet. Students, um, again, I know that we've all looked at that in class. If you've... Um, want to check again the booklets available in the files um, section of teams and all of our instrumental staff in school the singing staff in school are aware of the booklet and, and what the required standard is I'll mark everything out at 24 um, then depending on the difficulty level of the piece um, it can go up to a mark out of 30 so the final mark is a mark out of 30 and um, students um, if you just remember that grade 4 and particularly grade 5 level pieces get you to that top difficulty level which means that you can access a really high mark once I've given you a mark out of 30, we then double that up and that gives you your performance total for this year, which will be out of 60. And that's 60 marks towards the total of um, 200 that GCC Music's out of. Just want to stress again that when it comes to the performance, if on the day we record and we're not happy with it, we delete the recording and have another go. Um, if we're really not happy with it at all or you don't think that you've reached the right standard or even if you're away on the 2nd of December, we've then got a second attempt um, booked in on the um, school diary in February. For a very small number of pupils who have already spoken to individually, they know that they can have longer even than February. What they're doing is working on a piece which is for them very difficult, um, but they've got um, sort of six months to work on that recording and get that recording um, to as good a standard as possible. And, and February might come too soon for a small number of students. And then we can have another go recording um, later on in the year. Uh, I, I'm not going to put a date on that yet. Let's just see what's happening with the calendar. But um, it, it would certainly be towards the end of the spring term, possibly even at the start of the summer term, depending on where we are with everything. So plenty of chance to get the recording to the right standard. Um, and um, yeah, I, I know that uh, many of the students will be ready, get something done the 2nd of December and that will be absolutely fine. So that's performance. Composition. Now, uh, composition now for this year only has to be one free choice composition, which again is worth 30% of the grade. So that's 60 marks of the 200 goes on this one composition. So again, it's two minutes in length and it can be composed in any point in the course and um, in any musical style. We've got to hand in a recording of it and, and a musical score. Um, we can create the score from Sibelius and we can also create the recording generated from Sibelius as well. If it's a piece that can be realistically recorded live, then um, it's nice to do that. But that's not a requirement at all. Again, it's marked out of 30 um, by me and... Um, the mark is multiplied by two, giving you a final composition total um, of out of 60 marks. Now with the composition, what I've said is that we're going to take in uh, where we're at at the end of this term. So that's just before Christmas. And at that point, what I'll do is I'll give uh, some written formal feedback, which will then say to the students, yes, this piece is great. I can mark it from here. I'm satisfied that this is going to get to the standard that's needed for you. Or it might say, well, you know, you're, you're on the right lines, but it needs a little bit more work. And here is a list of bullet points, which if you work through uh, these bullet points, it should improve the quality of your piece and therefore your mark should go up. So that's me marking um, the composition and the performance work. So forms out of 60, composition out of 60. So there's 120 marks go on the performance and the composition. 
That then leaves us with the third and final area of the course, which is our listening exam, which we're, um, as things stand, doing in the summer of year 11. And it's all based on or around eight set works. And we're well on the way with the study of the set works. We're, we're currently studying our sixth set work um, of the eight. So we're really well on top of um, all, all of the study of that. We, we no need to worry about not getting through the course in time or anything like that. Um, the uh, listening exam is worth 40% of the course and it's marked out of 80. So there's your other 80 marks out of 200. There are six listening questions. Um, at the start of the exam, uh, which are usually worth around 50 to 55 of the 80 marks. And they are um, just about the set works, the eight set works. There's then a dictation question, which is where students have to notate some rhythm and melody. Just one of those. There's then one unfamiliar listening question in which the students have played a piece of music that will be related to a set work. Um, and they have to answer some questions about that. That's usually worth eight marks. And then there's an essay at the end, which is worth 12 marks. Uh, the essay may be the uh, longest um, question on the exam and worth the most marks. But actually, the most important thing for us to concentrate on are the set works themselves. Um, as I said, questions one to six are usually worth 50 to 55 marks of, of, of the 80. And we just got to learn these pieces inside out and, and get our listening questions right and score as many marks out of those as we can and then worry about the other questions afterwards uh, because they're worth uh, relatively less of the exam and that's what we've been doing it's an hour and 45 minutes long and um, the GCC music exam is normally after half term although obviously we're waiting to see what happens with the publication of um, the exam timetable uh, this year should just say at this point, um, if you listen to this before we do our mock exam in mid-November, the mock exam will be based on a full uh, proper Ed Excel paper with um, a listening questions and a dictation question, unfamiliar question and an essay. Um, we're only obviously doing questions on the six set works that we've studied so far um, and that um, to help students, they're going to be given the option of using their set works book in the exam um, or not it's entirely up to them and they can use it for some questions and not others all I'm asking them to do is to declare which questions that they've done and aided and which questions that they've done using their set works book and um, I'm, I'm trusting them that, that they'll be be honest about that um, I think it's important that we have a go at a full paper now just to sort of get a, a feel of the layout what I'll then do is um, we've got two more um, proper Ed Excel full exam papers that we can do and um, we'll have a go at um, the next one once we've studied the final two set works and then another one um, much closer to the exam and obviously in the meantime lots of practice questions uh, for homeworks and things like that as well so we build up um, our knowledge and also um, our exam technique. So what does that all mean in terms of actual grades? Um, as I've been saying that music is out of 200 and it's actually very difficult, if not impossible, really, to grade individual elements of the course. I can't really give a grade um, one to nine for just the performance, just the composition or just the listening exam. What we've got to do is look at uh, the picture of all three of those things added together. Now, what happens with the grade boundaries is they change year on year according to the national standard in that year. And what I've got here are the grade boundaries for 2018-2019, the two years in which an actual examination has been sat on our syllabus that we're covering at the moment. The other thing just to let you know is that over the course of, of those two years, the average mark for um, performance and composition added together at Rydale School is 108 out of 120. Um, and so you can see that students do achieve very good standard with this. And I have no reason to think that the current year 11 won't do the same. I'm really looking forward to uh, hearing um, all of their sort of formal hands-ins of performance and composition. It's, it's great fun to, to listen to all, all of the great recordings that they do. Um, but obviously that means that um, if you can score 108 out of 120, then that puts you in a pretty decent position um, going into the exam. And that um, on top of that, you're trying to get as high a score out of 80 as you possibly can to get you to um, the grade boundary that you want to achieve. 
obviously, as I say, we don't know what the grey boundaries are going to be this year. Uh, what I normally do is assume that they creep up a little bit every year as students and teachers get more used to the style of the examination and everyone gets a bit more savvy uh, at how to prepare. Um, having said that, obviously, with the disruption that there's been in the last few months, um, that may not be the case. Bottom line is, if we work off the highest grey boundaries that we got using the 2019 ones, uh, what I'll then be able to do is, um, in, in January, present the performance mark that students got in December for their recording then, added to the composition mark that they got for handing in their formal composition uh, at Christmas with their mock exam result, and then that will give everyone a really good base um, on which to move forward from from the start of the spring term. And that gives us then a good six months to get any outstanding performance up to scratch, get any compositions all smartened up, and then work like crazy on getting the best possible mark that we can in the exam. I have to say that I've been really um, encouraged by how hard everyone's worked. Uh, it's been great to get everyone back into school and to teach everyone for, for the half term. And I, I'm, I'm confident that we're going to get some terrific results. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone do really, really well. So well done, folks. Any questions, please do get in touch. Thank you ever so much.